Hi guys, uh, my name is Imran and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, how to install Laravel Valley, how to run WordPress uh, with Valley and how to run your local site with Valley. Okay, so you're going to get all the information that you need. Alright, now before we install the Valley, um, we need to understand that uh, you know we need to have our port 80 uh, available for the valid to run so if you are using any other application uh, that is using the port 80 then uh, the valid is not going to run uh, on the browser okay so make sure that the port 80 is free and how you check that is uh, if you go to your terminal okay and you type netstat and grab ad grab listen okay then you should see that it should not be occupied okay cool <clears throat> now next thing what you need to do is you need to uh, have brew installed uh, on your Mac okay so brew is basically your uh, uh, package manager for Mac OS okay so you need to have brew installed in case if it is not installed then you can go ahead and use this code which I'll just write here okay so you can just copy this code you can pause the screen you can copy this code and install brew okay perfect all right now after this we need to update our brew just we need to make sure the brew is updated so we can type brew update Okay, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and pause it until it's updated. Alright, now my brew is updated. Now we need to type brew install homebrew php php 7.1. So this is basically going to install the latest PHP version. Um, through the homebrew so I think I've got an error I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that all right so my PHP 7.1 uh, has been installed okay all right now next um, we need to go ahead and install the valley okay uh, globally I okay, guess so, so we need to use composer global require laravel forward slash valley okay so, and then we're going to hit enter okay so I'm going to pause the video till the time it's uh, installed Alright, so as you can see, it's been installed. Now we'll go ahead and write this command echo path to ensure composer uh, forward slash vendor forward slash bin is into our path folder, into our paths. Okay, and once that is done, we need to close the terminal and reopen it. Okay, and then we need to click, we need to type source. bash rc the source it and then we need to install valley by using valley install command okay I'm going to pause the video till the time it installs. Alright, so as you can see, it's uh, saying that Valley is installed successfully. Uh, to ensure that it is installed successfully, we're going to just ping foobar.dev. And if we are getting this 127 
0.0.0.1 that means it is installed okay we can do control Z to get out of it okay cool so which means that uh, we have got a uh, um, well installed onto our system okay all right so since the well is installed if we go ahead and uh, run the valid command I'm expecting that it should give me all the list of the commands alright there you go so as you can see it's saying that Laravel Valley 2.0.5 you've got all the commands listed here uh, the basic ones are links, link, park and um, unlink and uninstall and, and you know, commands like these alright now we've got our valley installed now all we have to do is um, you know create a directory so let's do that um, into our home directory so mkdir let's say we name it as valley okay so we have created a directory called valley we'll go into that directory okay we enter this directory now now we'll go ahead and create our site uh, directory okay so let's say we want to name our site as um, my site okay so we create it and we'll go into this site directory okay now we're into my site directory and all we have to do is just run a simple command which is called valley link okay it's going to link our website to valley it's just doing that okay it's done we also need to do valley park so that the path uh, to this directory is also linked to the link of the site so that we can run that in the browser so these are the only two commands we need to run in order for us to link our site to valley so it's been added okay now all right now what we can do is we can do valley links and it's going to show us all the sites that we have linked to valley okay let's wait for this all right as you can see my site dot dev which is this folder um, it's got the path to that which is registered by the command uh, valley park and the valley link command not this one the other one that we used earlier valley link command is going to you know link this URL for a project my site okay so you'll be able to find your project at this URL okay before we go ahead and open our project all we have to do is just create a file called index.php okay and I'm just going to open this file and just you know write something this is valley site okay right now we close this file save it okay so in this file all we have is just a message that says this is valid site okay so all we have to do now is go into our site which is this one right here and as you can see you've got our site ready that's how simple it is okay so just to recap all we have to do is we need to have a brew installed onto our computer which is our um, package manager for Mac OS then we use a couple of commands which I've already explained okay and then we go ahead and install the Laravel globally and then we install it onto our system with the valid install command then we ping it to check if it's working and then um, you just create a directory 
called valet and then inside that directory we create the my site directory we go ahead and link this site to valet and then we also set the path using the valet park command okay and then create an index.php file inside our my site folder directory okay and then all we have to do is go to this address and we can find our site here that's how simple it is okay now in the next part of the video uh, we're going to talk about how to install the WordPress uh, onto the uh, using the valley okay how to run it and uh, we also talk about how to use the MySQL okay perfect thank you